Hey guys, welcome back to Everything, your weekly show to hear what's up along the Gulf Coast. On today's show, I've got two people coming on to tell you all about Shelter House's Palette and Palette Dinner. It's a five course dinner with some of the area's chefs and also a live painting. Also other events coming up, Chili for Charity and a Glow Fun Run on 30A, stay tuned. Okay, so our first guest on today's show is Rosalind Wick. She's the executive director for Shelter House. Um, and today we're gonna be talking about their palette and palette event. So if you've recently seen the article on getthecoast.com, um, you will know that the government shutdown right now is really affecting so many of the nonprofits in our area and Shelter House is one of those. So now more than ever, this event is so important and if you wanna help, you need to buy a ticket and be there. It's an awesome event. So welcome to the show, Rosalind. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Whitney. Awesome. Well, I, I've actually been to the palette and palette event before. Awesome. So much fun. So tell me a little bit about the background. How long have you guys been doing this? So this is our third year doing Palette and Palette and it is one of my favorite events that we've ever done at Shelter House. It is a five course uh, wine dinner with a live performance painting experience. So this year we are back at Legendary Marine on February 2nd starting at 6 p.m. Awesome. Okay. The Legendary Marine in Destin. That's right. Okay. Right by Mid Bay Bridge. That's that's correct. Awesome. Well, that was a great venue last year. So tell me who the artist is this year because I know we have a new person coming, right? We sure do. And we are so excited to have her. Her name is Kate Tova and she's coming to us from New Orleans. Awesome. Well, I got to check out some of her stuff. Super bright, cheerful. Yes. Um, and the coolest part is that actually Kate is going to be our next guest on the show in just a few minutes. So stay tuned. You'll get to meet Kate herself. Um, so while Kate is painting, uh, we do a five course dinner, right? That's right. All right. So tell me some of the chefs you have lined up. I saw you have Dan Pettis from 120 Modern Bistro in Niceville. He's been there every year. Every year. Um, let's see. You've also got Chef Gio from View on 30A. Mm -hmm. um, we've got uh, Jack McGuckin from Bijou Restaurant and Spirits yep. um, in the Sandestin area. And we have a couple new chefs this year really? too. Okay. Yes. Uh, from Shunk Goalie, we've got Tyler uh, McMahon. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. And then also um, the Gulf Okaloosa Island. Yes. We've got the executive chef, uh, Justin Componation. So, yeah. so each course is uh, paired with wine, right? Right, yes, from Elite Worldwide. Awesome, very cool. And then also for the people who aren't wine drinkers, um, some pretty cool cocktails and beer there. Um, yep. so Timber, Timber Creek Distillery, they've been here uh, with us from the very beginning, and then also Grayton Beer Company. Awesome, so doesn't matter if you're not a wine drinker, there's something there for you. Uh, what I loved about the event was, you know, we did the cocktail hours and they, you know, the hour and they did uh, hand passed hors d'oeuvres. Um, and you got to bid on a ton of cool stuff in the silent auction. So in the silent auction this year, we're really excited. We've got a great mixture of everything from fishing trips to restaurant gift cards to spa packages. Uh, you know, we even got some local art. Yeah, I saw that last year. I love that you guys integrate local artists too, you know, to show all the great, you know, art in our area. So, and of course, Epic Photo Booth is gonna be there. Yes. The one Destin sponsor that for you guys. So everybody Absolutely. loves Epic Photo Booth. It always gets kind of crazy. Love seeing the photos afterwards. <laughs> um, and then I saw that, um, B-Boy does your DJ every year. They do. So that's kind of a fun mixture. You know, a lot of people do live music for events, but this is kind of a cool, modern, edgy vibe. Absolutely. And, you know, we love having them there. Last year they were up in a boat playing music, and it, it was really, really fun. Tell us the details. If people want to buy tickets, how much and where do they go? So tickets are $125 per person. Uh, you can go to our website, shelterhousenwfl.org, uh, or you can get the link from a, to a event bright from our Facebook page as well. Okay, cool. So there are 125. I did see that the price goes up on the 29th. Right? On the 29th, okay. they go up to 140. So please get your uh, early bird ticket. Okay, cool. I saw that you guys are already halfway there. We are. Awesome. So you also mentioned that there's a new component again this year, something about a car? There is. So actually one of our presenting sponsors has donated a car, the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office. And so we will be doing raffle tickets at the event. The car will 
be there for everyone to check out, uh, take photos with. It's, it's really exciting. So what kind of car is it? Uh, so it's a 2014 Dodge Challenger. Really nice. Okay, so somebody's going to win a car that night at the so event? So actually you can buy raffle tickets that night and take photos with the car, check it out. But the drawing will actually be happening at our next event, Purses with a Purpose on March 28th at 7 p.m. Okay, awesome, I love that event too. Yeah. So is there anything else that we need to know about the event? So I really want to say a huge thank you to our presenting sponsors, the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office, who we work with every day, and so it's wonderful to be able to partner with them in this capacity, uh, Compass Builders of Florida, and then also Emerald Coast Title Services, who's been with us since the very beginning. Awesome. Very cool. Okay, so guys, if you want to buy a ticket for Shelter House's Palette and Palette Dinner, uh, find Shelter House on Facebook or also go to shelterhousenwfl.org. All right, so for our second interview of the day, we are so excited to have the artist for Shelter House's Palette and Palette Dinner. Her name is Kate Tova. Hey, Kate, thanks for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. Awesome, well, we're excited um, to have you at the event. So tell me a little bit about you. How long have you been painting? All that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm a visual artist from New Orleans. Um, I'm originally from Russia, um, but I met my fiance in Spain and uh, we moved to New Orleans. Um, but yeah, I've been painting and drawing all my life. Um, and you know, as long as I can remember myself. Um, and uh, you know, I'm really happy. I feel really lucky to be doing it full time. Um, is that one of your pieces in the background? Uh, yeah. Oh my God, that is yeah. so awesome. So do you so, yeah. paint somebody, like if, if they come to you and say, I want a portrait of myself, or do you just envision these things? Oh, yeah, I do a lot of commissions, but also I think, yeah, a lot of the times I just paint from my imagination, or I actually kind of collage the face sometimes. Like I take the hair from one picture, I take the eyes from another picture. Um, but yeah, this one is kind of more from imagination. So what is the coolest thing, you project, you know, like I, I saw your bio and you've done some like really crazy work all over the world. Like what's some of your favorite things you've done? Uh, I think actually right now I'm working on one of the coolest projects. Um, and it's a painting series called Crude FM, which features um, powerful and talented and uh, hardworking women. Um, and it's inspired a lot by um, New Orleans colors and carnivals and culture. Yeah, but I'm really, I'm really excited about it. Um, awesome. So have you ever done a live painting before, like at an event like this? Yeah, yeah. I helped a lot. I volunteer for Pet Rescue, so I did um, a lot of the live paintings for them. And it was, yeah, really successful before. Um, but yeah, I've done, <laughs> I've done a few and it's been really fun. Very cool. So I know earlier you were telling me that you have a special connection to the Destin, Fort Walton, 30A area. Why don't you tell us about it? Um, yeah, we actually got engaged um, with my fiance in Destin. Um, and yeah, he proposed on the beach and it was like nobody there and the Emerald Coast. So beautiful. <laughs> um, so yeah, I said yes. <laughs> awesome. Perfect. Well, very cool. It's a beautiful place to get engaged. All right, that's all the time we have. But hey, Kate, if somebody wants to check out your work before the event, tell us how we can find you. So yeah, you can go on the website, katetova.com or um, on social media, I'm on Instagram, uh, Kate Tova. Awesome, uh, well, very cool. I'm definitely following your Instagram. <laughs> Thank you. Plan to buy a vehicle? Well, here's some tips. As you establish a good credit rating, you'll qualify for lower interest rates, which lowers your monthly payments. Winning, is it 36 or 66 months? Be sure the repayments fit in your budget. Know the premium for your vehicle before you make your buying decision. Premiums vary greatly depending on year, make, and model. Check out these resources. And when you're ready to buy, see Eglin Federal Credit Union, where members matter most. All right, here's your quick rundown of the events coming up this week. This segment is brought to you by Eglin Federal Credit Union. 
Chili for Charity benefits Food for Thought and is this Wednesday at the Better Homes and Gardens office on Gulf Store Drive in Destin. The event is free, so head out there and enjoy some free chili samples, vote on your favorite, and don't forget to bring some items for Food for Thought's food pantry. They're in desperate need of items like peanut butter, jelly, snacks, canned veggies, pop top soup, and so much more. Check out Chili for Charity on Facebook for more details. The Cordova Mall Ball in Pensacola is in its 24th year and is happening this Saturday at 8 p.m. It's a fun evening of live entertainment, dancing, food tasting from area restaurants, a New Orleans style French market, a silent auction, and so much more. Tickets start at $70 a person and all of the money supports the Studer Family Children's Hospital at Sacred Heart. Find Cordova Mall Ball on Facebook for a link to ticket. This Thursday is Lululemon's Glow Fun Run on 30A. The run starts at their store in Grayton Beach at 5.30 p.m. All runners will be provided with free glow swag. Check out the Glow Fun Run on Facebook for more information. All right, that's all we have for you this week, guys. Hey, if you want more details or if you want to buy a ticket for Shelter House's Palette and Palette event, find Shelter House on Facebook.